Noodle, you can just swing round and take a point blank with a shotgun. Oh! That's not good. That is so badly not good. The events in this video are fictional as the characters portrayed with him. Any similarities to anyone living or dead are merely coincidental and have been created at random by XCOM's name generator. Seriously. Hello one and all, Mickey here. And we're back for another XCOM. I think it's about time we head onto that crashed medium UFO, the raider we shot down last week. So here's our squad. Crashed raiders in the forest area can be one of three maps. It can be the forest trench or the deep forest which are both really good maps to play on. They're nice and wide open, so both my snipers here with both their double taps can just lay waste to everything in their path. Or it can be the stone wall map, which is essentially a medium crashed UFO in a close quarters map. That's why I didn't just set up a squad that was basically a rookie training squad. I want it to be one, I've got two snipers to carry them, but I can't really risk that when a one in three chance it's gonna be a close quarters map. So to back them up, I've got Lowry, Dangerous Noodle, and Van Dorn. Van Dorn's coming along because I really need him to level up and start getting officer ranks. Noodle's coming along, obviously, because I need a scout, otherwise I can't move up. And Lowry's coming along for many reasons, but because he is gonna be our dedicated, crashed or landed UFO killer with his concealment perk. Absolutely perfect for taking out UFOs. Moving up, being concealed, and spotting anything that's in his path. On top of that, he's carrying a motion tracker. Van Dorn's got two battle scanners. We've got two flashbangs, two HEs on the rookies. And even though my snipers aren't carrying medkits, we've actually got four medkits. Van Dorn's got one, so he can suppress while being poisoned. Lowry's got one as his perk, Field Medic, and then Gerard's got two, as his perk, Saviour. So even though we're only bringing in one medkit into the field, we'll actually have four available to us. So we should be pretty set for medkits. Other than that, it's what you'd imagine. Snipers are going heavy on aim items, as they don't need to carry medkits. Everybody up front's got a ceramic plating, except for Lowry, who's got nine health as it is. We're bringing one pet into the field, Gerard's Bloodwing Drone. Now, something I want to mention about pets. A couple of episodes ago, I might have mentioned that I'm only going to allow one pet per squad. Now I'm kind of going to stick by that but I've changed my mind a little bit. <laughs> Just bear with me. A lot of you guys have said that you want to see multiple pets per mission but I want to keep the game relatively fair and you know by chance if I have a squad where each soldier has a pet then you're potentially looking at a 16 man squad which obviously isn't fair. So what I'm going to do is allow one free pet per mission. So in this case, obviously it's going to be Gerard. And if I want a second pet to come along, it means I need to get rid of a soldier. So if Van Dorn had his pet perk at Sergeant and I wanted both Gerard's drone and Van Dorn's pet, whatever it might be, to come along at the same time, I would have to get rid of a soldier. Not that, you know, I would get rid of a soldier for the sake of bringing on a drone, but you get what I'm saying. For every extra pet that I want to bring over the initial one, a soldier has to go. Because remember, even the lowest alien, besides the drone, gets suppression. So I think that pretty much covers it. There was something else I wanted to mention, but I can't remember. So let's just head out there and find out which map we're heading on to. Please come on, give us the trench or the deep forest, not stone wall. We're heading to South Africa for this one. Oh, that better not be stone wall. Fast. It looks like we got lucky. The alien no, we didn't get lucky. Away from any major city centers. We should get down there and secure the site. That ASAP. is definitely stone wall. Oh, that's not good. Oh well, let's find out what starting locations we can choose from. Come in, HQ. Big Sky has reached the crash site. Affirmative, Big Sky. Strike one is free to engage the crash site. Okay, so this was actually the starting location that I was going to pick. I know there's another starting location over here that's pretty far away on the left-hand side in the adjacent corner. That's got good line of sight, but very little cover to choose from. And there is also, I might actually bring up the map and show it there, but there's also a starting location right up against the UFO between the edge of the map and the UFO wall. Why, why would they make a starting location there? I, I don't know. If you spawn there and there are enemies either side of you, you're just dead. You might just leave. But other than that, we have got a meld canister on the roof. Yeah, we're not getting that. I don't care where the other meld canisters are, we're not gonna get them. Let's bring in Gerard's drone, and here we are. And time for those random rookie perks. Okay, so for our random rookie perks, Pal here got ready for anything. Kind of a bit of an odd perk. I was 
intending to make both these guys into either scouts or assaults because they're some of the last few rookies that have at least decent mid-range mobility whilst also having decent health but ready for anything i have no idea I i'll have to think about that what i'm going to turn you into but renee here is going to be a scout he got disabling shot definitely not going to be a sniper with accuracy i wanted to make him into either an assault or a scout anyway and scouts seeing as they can use marksman rifles eventually when his aim gets a bit higher yeah he's he's going to be a scout with disabling shot plain and simple okay now i'm a little bit terrified about this map there's kind of a ridge here, and there could very likely be enemies on the other side of it. And as with any medium crashed UFO, for all intents and purposes, you might as well consider it to be a heavy. Which means I'm going to take it as any heavy and say two pods of four and two pods of three, not including the two outsiders. That might be a little bit over the top, but I'm just going to be considering it like that, and I'm not going into the UFO until I have taken out three pods of enemies. And what we can face are the typical sectoids, drones, thin men, seekers, and floaters. Of course, the outsider as well. So, let's start moving up. Okay, Larry, you conceal your way ahead. Moving out. Alien object in sight. Yep, you see the meld. Good job. Let's pull our snipers back. Van Dorn, you can move up to Larry as well. You really need full cover, especially since you can't move and shoot. Pow and Rene. Wow, I didn't realise your mobility was that bad. Okay, just low cover. And yeah, Noodle, you can head left as well. And Drone, yeah, you can just join them. Why not? Okay, snipers, steady your guns. This may get messy. Van Dorn, you can do the same. And, yeah, everybody else can just overwatch, including Larry. I mean, it's not exactly like he's ahead of the squad. And next turn, I will motion track. But for now, it's not really necessary. So, let's find out what is out there. Pistols, please. Oh, did I? Oh, yeah. You need your assault rifle, not pistol. Okay, so yeah. Shotgunners, pistols, everybody else, go. Oh, yeah, drone, you can just skip your turn. So, what's out there? Yeah, meld, I know that. Nothing. You, you don't want to give me anything. Okay. Alright. The outsiders are dead ahead. I'm so glad I didn't move up to this. Concealment is good. Battle scanners are as well. But motion trackers, yeah, they may have just saved this mission. There are two enemies dead ahead from Lowry. I would say kind of here. And seeing as there are two on their own, I can pretty much bet that they are both outsiders. So with that being said, let's move over to the left and see if there's anything on the other side of this ridge. Yeah, I think that'll do. On my way. Okay, nothing yet. You can dash up. And more contacts. I think this is actually a proper pod. It's too far off the edge of the radar. So it's not likely just one enemy or the outside. I think this is actually an outsider pod. So yeah, I think we're just going to move up left. Van Dorn, I think maybe can just stay here. Everybody else can move up. Now the snipers at this range, I think can actually overwatch. So, yeah, everybody overwatch. Except Van Dorn, you can just stay anyway. So, come on, game, tell us what's out there. Drones and Thin Men. Okay. Lowry, yeah, you motion track again. I'm a little bit wary about bringing him up to this full cover. I know there wasn't anything over there when I last checked, but don't want to risk the aliens teleport over there. I'm aware Long Rules fix that, but I'm paranoid a lot okay so whatever that pod is they are very very close so let's start getting into better cover all right i want as many people on this ridge as possible so Moving you can out. drop down either left or right depending on where the targets run to as for the snipers i'm not really sure about you guys i think i will move over minelli to the left because he's relatively close to the front here if a pod moves up he can't dash very far Whereas Gerard here can dash over to the left and get himself out of danger. So, Vincent, you move over. Okay. Renee, you can move over as well. 
Now, Van Dorn. You dash over. I think I'm going to put you into this full cover here. Double time it. And in fact, Renee, yeah, you dash as well. You're a little bit far forward. So I don't want to trigger with you. Position. Gerard, now that we've got pretty good vision ahead of the squad, I don't want you to overwatch. You steady your weapon. But yeah, you guys at the back can overwatch. So, Pal, you overwatch. Noodle, you overwatch as well. And everybody else skip their turn. I do need to be careful with Lowry because he does have that very clutch close combat specialist, which can reveal him when he's cloaked. Now, you don't have any more cover to move up to. Let's shimmy some people over. So yeah, this is the other starting location. Pretty far away from the ship, but a lot less cover to move to. Although, looking again, it's kind of the exact same kind of cover to move to. In fact, this would be a pretty good position for Van Dorn to go. But for now, this will do. Come on then, you guys. That's affirmative. Move into position. Let's try set up a front line. In motion. Now at this point, I'm going to try to get my snipers over to the left. I don't know what cover they're going to go to just yet. Maybe these two trees. But this is a much better firing line on the left-hand side. And not to mention, it means we've cleared out this half of the map. So Gerard, run. As well as Vincent. Van Dorn, steady. Everybody else, Overwatch. Except for Lowry and the drone who can't Overwatch. That. Okay, drone, can you reveal a little bit ahead for us? Okay, that's good. So yeah, I'm thinking maybe I'm going to set up my two snipers here, put Van Dorn here, maybe have him throw a battle scanner and the snipers just go ham. How far can you run, Van Dorn? Not very. Confirm coordinates. I'm rolling. Moving out. Yeah, Lowry, you can take out your shotgun. At this range, I think, if they were to charge, maybe not this turn, but the following turn, and CCS kicks in, I'd much rather it be with a shotgun than with a pistol. And now the snipers. Okay, I say Gerard starts making a run for it. And Vincent can just stay in this full cover for now. You can follow next turn. And that will do. Overwatch. I'm Overwatch. Roger that. Scanning. <laughs> Yeah, I don't care about the meld. Don't don't even pretend that I care. Not not gonna happen. Okay, drone, can you scout ahead again? I'm sure it's gonna be fine, yeah. Boot as much. Van Dorn, you can take your full cover. Gerard, you are one tile out of position. That's not that big a deal. And Vincent, yeah, you can very slowly move up. Heading out. I'm on it, Commander. Okay, yeah, just overwatch. We're, we're slowly getting there, guys. We are slowly getting there. Doesn't really look like they've moved. Okay, perfect. And how far can you throw, Van Dorn? You have got the perk itself and not just the item, so you should be able to throw pretty far. Maybe another motion track, but that is our last one. I don't really know where else you can move to. You could just dash up. Okay, you know what? Dash to... Hmm, I'm a little bit worried. They might have moved up on the left-hand side now. Okay, for now, move over to there. Yes, Commander. You'll stay concealed. You'll reveal on the right-hand side. Next turn, you can dash up to here. The following turn, blue move up to there. And then we can consider what we're going to do with our snipers. Okay, Larry, time to dash. Running. Whoa! Can you still see anything from there? Oh god, you can. Whew, okay, it's only on the left though. Yeah, and that dash actually revealed the... Well, gave a sight of the two outsiders that are over here on the right. Can I see them a bit better? Ah, oh, oh my god, wow! They're about as close to the starting location as they could be. And if I moved up, that would have revealed. And this could have been a very, very messy mission. But at least it does give us exact intel on where they are. Okay, so yeah, we see our four thin men. Unfortunately, I only have eyes on one of them. Which means my snipers are only going to be able to shoot one of them. 100% and 92. 
Oh, right, because he didn't steady your weapon. I suppose, then again, um, the first shot, whether it hits or not, will always trigger the pod, and the pod will run. So it doesn't make any difference if I can only hit one. But yeah, steady. We will trigger next turn when Larry's got his move back. You can overwatch now. You're just out of range from the looks of it. We have eyes on the target. Affirmative. Down. Down. Scanning. Scanner. Now, thin minute. I wouldn't imagine you're going to move, but let's see. Yeah, I know you're there. Yeah, thin men aren't moving. Okay, because Vincent has the lower accuracy, you can shoot the currently exposed thin man. Hopefully for a kill. 50-50 chance to crit. Come on, do the job. Very nice. Three thin men left. Okay, now that puts us in a bit of bulk position. I thought they would move left and not right. I don't think this wall's broken. Yeah, it's not. So if they, even if they open that door, I won't reveal the outsiders. But still, you need to move back, either to here or here. To be honest, either will do because you, you'll be concealed. And Noodle, you definitely need to move up. And you're gonna hunker next turn. I don't think this is safe. I'm a little bit worried those thin men are gonna move up to here and shoot. Pretty sure that's gonna be in range to shoot. And being in full cover would mean they'd have to do 9 damage to one shot someone. And we all know Thin Men only have one mode. Drone, you dash back. You're not going to be a lot of help just yet. Actually, second thoughts. Mm, that's kind of stupid of me. I should have brought him way far forwards and then kind of flown him over. Although then again, if I did that, the outsiders might have triggered. If there's another pod out there, I'm going to trigger them if I move up. Okay, screw it. It's too risky. Move, move back. Larry, you can move back as well. Stepping off. Yeah, I know the outsiders are there. You better not have line of sight on them. No, you don't. Okay, pal, you can move over left a little bit. Move into position. Into half cover and hunker down. Everybody in half cover hunker. And actually, I'm thinking Van Dorn hunker as well. Unbelievably, Gerard here has got more health than Van Dorn. So yeah, Van Dorn hunker. Gerard, you can actually stay there on Overwatch, to be honest. When they reveal themselves to Larry, you might get a shot on them. So, yeah, you you Overwatch. Go for it. So, Thin Men, what are you going to do? Oh, we have got floaters too. What was that sound? Floaters, I just said. I, I just said it was floaters. Okay, Larry, you can't move from here because you need to keep tabs on where those thin men swing around on the right. Unfortunately, that means that no one else can really move either. Drone, I think you can actually dash up behind full cover and that should keep you concealed. Because I do kind of want him to get on the roof. Oh, yeah, actually, we do have drones as well, don't we? And floaters. So, hmm. So everything we've encountered so far can get onto the roof. That is really awkward. Okay, yeah. Uh, second thoughts. I don't really know what to do with you at all. Yeah, Drone, you can just actually stay there. Noodle, yeah, move up, why not? Okay, you didn't reveal. I was hoping you might spot something. Okay, at this point, I'm going to think they split up a little bit to go from different angles, so I will put Van Dorn on Overwatch. Everybody else can hunker. Except for Larry, who can spot. Overwatch, Overwatch, Overwatch. And you guys, skip your turn. Come on then, Thin Men. Really? Come on, guys. All right, Noodle, move up. Come on, get eyes on one of them. Nope, nothing. Okay. I didn't really want to use a battle scanner. And actually, I'm kind of thinking I still won't because all of these walls are intact. And I don't think the snipers are going to have an angle on any of them. Yeah, we, we need to wait for them to come to us. Yeah, same same thing again. I there, There's no point using a battle scanner at this point. We need to wait for them to come to us. We don't have shots on them with our snipers. And I'm very glad I didn't go light on this mission. Here we go, finally. Wow, your anglers. Oh, right, yeah. What a surprise.
Okay, I think we can get rid of these. Snipers, please tell me you have shots. You do. Oh, both are into full cover. Are you same shots? Yeah. Van Dorn, do you have any shots? You do. Good. You can, in fact, suppress the front one. Okay, so Noodle is pinned down. I've actually only just realised um, Gerard here doesn't have the medkits from that perk. So maybe I'm not reading it properly when it reads he gets two free medkits not tied to an item. Grants two medkit charges not attached to any item. I don't see those two medkit charges. Yeah, I'm going to have to look into this. Mm. Because if that is the case, then we get only two medkits in total. I mean, we should be fine. Okay, plan is suppress front one, kill back one. And the first one back can just do whatever the hell it wants. Alright, you got two fifties. Let's see what you can do. Nope. Keep shooting. Oh, come on. Really? Alright then, Vincent. You're a little bit lower, but you should still have 50-50. Come on. Okay. You hit. Minimum damage. Can you actually finish the job? Come on. Oh, man. Not good. Okay, Van Dorn, you suppress the front one. Okay. I'm a little bit worried about this back one. Getting a flank on Noodle. It's going to be quite a run to do it. But still, it is something that I'm worried about. So, Larry, although they're not going to see that you're overwatched, you do still need to overwatch. Noodle will hunker down. And you guys are in half cover. So, yeah, you guys need to hunker down as well. And drone, maybe you might be of some help. So, just dash up to that full cover. And yeah, Rene, you hunk down as well. Okay, we got incoming. Oh, they're gonna. Yep, they triggered. Not good. And a miss. Okay, a rocket hit would have been perfect. And at this point, I am pretty damn certain that Thin Man can now flank Noodle. So Noodle, even though you're poisoned, I think you're going to have to move back. All right, snipers. Actually, Gerard, you have Deadeye, don't you? Yep, Deadeye. So the drones shouldn't be a problem to you. You start taking them out. That's one. And Vincent, you need to do the same. The Thin Men are going to have to wait. We're just going to have to pin them in position. Good job. 72%. Okay, so that leaves two drones, three Thin Men, and those floaters. We need to fall back at this point. Okay, Noodle, you need to eat some acid and burn an overwatch to remain safe. So, yeah, you go for it. 2%. Yeah, don't don't blow up that tree. I'm heading for that tree. That tree needs to be intact. And Lowry, you need to come out of concealment and hunker in half cover, which should be just out of range of those outsiders. So you do that. I'm on the move. Hi, yeah, I was here all along. Hi. And that should stop that thin man, uh, that thin man from moving up and trying to flank me. And drone, if you want to live, you need to move back a little bit as well. Pow, you need to start position. moving up. Maybe I can make use of your grenade soon at some point. Van Dorn, yeah, you suppress the front one. Enemy is back. Everybody else hunkers. And hopefully they won't be able to do anything to us this turn. Okay, what are you guys going to do? That was a dash. Guessing this is a dash as well. Thin man, what are you doing? I'm gonna be sick. 
Oh, who's getting poisoned? Okay, so the rookie got poisoned. Not really the biggest deal. And Noodle is still poisoned as well. That is a bit of a pain. But if we can get rid of these drones, then we should be okay. Your double tap is set. You don't have the ammo. So Gerard, I'm thinking maybe you use your double tap. Oh, damn. You've only got sight on one drone. Well, screw it. One drone down. Thin man, 50-50, come on. Minimum damage again. Not great, but you did hit. Van Dorn is still not in range to mind fray. They are getting closer though. Okay, Vincent, I need you to kill that drone. Thin men, I think, won't be able to get into position to shoot me. I've got their flanks covered, so yeah. Vincent, yeah, you need to kill that drone. Please don't miss. Yeah, you're good. Whew. Okay, all the drones are down. I know you've got double tap, and I know it's now wasted because you can see enemies, but you don't have any ammo. Just how it's going to go. All right, Van Dorn, you can pin the thin man that's on full health in half cover. Enemy is that leaves two thin men on low health somewhere. Well, there's one here, but I don't know where the other one is. Maybe he's still here, maybe move up on the left. Not entirely sure. Actually, Lowry, you're not on the effects of acid. Oh, right, yeah, there's no watch, and Noodle can't burn it. Okay, there's not a lot that I can do. As far as I'm aware, there's no position that the Thin Man can get to that I'm not already flanking. I don't think the other Thin Man can get to here or here to flank Noodle, I'm hoping. I can't move up because the Overwatch. I don't want Noodle to burn another Overwatch because the Acid. So everybody else just hunker down. Yeah, Vincent, I would love you to reload, but it's not going to happen. All right, Thin Men, where are you going? Oh, you've got a good shot. Oh! Yes, yeah, son of a one in three chance. Thin Men only have one mode, damn it. Wow, you're... someone's flanking you? That must have been a dash, I'm guessing. Yeah, that must have been a dash. Oh, yeah, I was wrong. There is a place that they can get to to flank him. But it was a dash, so we're okay. And you're not under the effects of acid anymore. Van Dorn, how are you doing? I can't select you. One point of damage. Not great. Yeah, it's not great, but we should be fine now. We've got two injured thin men. One thin man that is very much about to die. You're still on the effects of acid. You're not, though. You need to reload. There's no, nothing else you can do. And you need to reload as well. Okay, so whatever we're going to do, it's going to be with these, I don't know, three or four units. The two snipers are out. Van Dorn can lay down another suppression if I can select him. Yep, he's got another suppression. We don't have an overwatch. We are in range to do this, so Larry, you move up. And as long as you don't do minimum damage, that's one dead thin man. Van Dorn, do you have suppressions on both of them? You do. Okay. Renee, if you move up, I know you're under the effects of acid. Can you get a grenade on him? No, you can't. It's only with a close one for you. And I'm betting you're not going to be able to hit the back one. That's affirmative. How? Come on, you move up. Not really good enough. He's in full cover, so it's going to do one less damage, which means he needs to do three damage to kill him. And that's not really likely. Okay, well, screw it. Let's see what this can do. Worst case scenario, I can suppress. So, come on then, pal. Is this going to be your first kill? It is very much not going to be your first kill. Noodle, you can just swing round and take a point blank with a shotgun. Oh! That's not good. That is so badly not good. Why can't you see this floater? All right, yeah, so the game still thinks you're here. Hold on one second. Save the game. Load back. And the game still thinks you're there. Yeah, I really need that shot, Van Dorn. God damn it. Or a fucking mind fray will do. Oh, this is not good. How are you not flanked right now? Oh, man. Okay, drone, this might be the time that you have to sacrifice yourself. If you can kill that thin man, you'd be doing everyone a favour. 35 to hit. Wow. 
So here's the problem. Besides the fact that Van Dorn is on half health and can't overwatch these floaters to pin them in place because of this bug that makes him think that he's standing here when he's actually standing here. We've got one rookie that is one tile out of range of that floater and is flanked. We've got two soldiers, one being poisoned, both having blue moved and have to dash back into full cover, but there is only one piece of cover they can dash back to. So one person is gonna have to dash back into cover and I'm pretty sure even from here, that thin man is gonna have a flank. So guys, there's not a lot that I can do. There's nowhere these rookies can run to, or this rookie can run to that isn't flanked. Okay, well, yeah, not a lot I can do. You're, you're just gonna have to move up into half cover with six health. So you're pretty much boned. You rookie are also pretty much boned because you're flanked. Well, you're one tile away from getting flanked next turn. And Noodle, for the love of God, don't get poisoned moving up here. Okay, you're good. Van Dorn, yeah, you you need to suppress this thin man to stop everyone getting flanked. But those floaters are sure as hell gonna target you next turn. But there's not a lot I can do about that. Enemy is bad. I think that's it. I think that is it, yeah. Okay then, drone, you've got a one in three chance to hit this thin man. Oh, thank God. That may have saved someone's life. That rookie is still exposed. You're not taking cover? Oh yeah, you're you're dashing as well. What the hell's going on? Oh, I don't think that's a dash. Why? What are you? What are you guys doing? Oh! Bloodwing! You gave your life for the squad! You see, ladies and gentlemen, that was a real hero. Okay, so still acid, but we should now have double tap on everyone. Yep, two snipers are ready to go. Van Dorn has to heal. All right then, you fuckers. On my way. There's zero need for this concealment, but I don't care. Second thoughts, before you move up, how about I see how this is gonna work out? Snipers, can you do your jobs? Okay, you, you can see everyone. So let's start off with the floaters. At least it was a hit. Minimum damage, but at least it was in fact a hit. Okay, Gerard. Your drone gave his life up for this. Make it count. Nicely done. You made it count. Okay, you Noodle, you need to move up into half cover. And also maybe reveal the back floater. And you did. Gerard, can you do something about that back floater? You do have dead eye after all. 93%. Decent damage. Okay, Noodle, your target is this floater. And yeah, you need to do pretty much mid damage, assuming that the DR doesn't kick in. Please kill him. Perfect. Okay, pal, can you move back into full cover? And kill the floater that's exposed himself, 64%. Excellent. Now, Minelli, 72%. Can you finish off this floater? So, 72%. Please kill him. 72. Please. No. No. Uh. Okay, Lowry. Yeah, you can kill this thin man for me. Nice healthy bit of damage. And, yeah, I've just realised Van Dorn's not being ranged that floater to mind frame anyway. He'd have to move up to maybe here. But either way, I am going to say, Van Dorn, you heal yourself. You kind of need it. Even though Gerard's medkits have bugged out. We do still have one medkit left. Okay, Rene, yeah, you hunker down. And Floater, you got one health. What are you going to do? Yep, he's gone. You can move back, Larry. And reload. Oh, yes. Noodle, you can move back and reload as well. You can have reload as well. Rene, yeah, you hunk down. I'm pretty sure you're still poisoned. Hey, you're not still poisoned. Unbelievable. Then you can dash back into full cover. Got it. Moving. We can get a reload on Van Dorn. In fact, let's let's sort out this fing bug. You move back into low cover. Oh no, it, it still thinks he's here. Fine, reload from there then. And you guys, yeah, you you guys can have reload as well, why not? Second thoughts, I should have overwatched them to be honest. 
because he is on one health. Okay, what full cover can I move to and get eyes on that floater? Not really a lot. You can move forwards again, low cover. And nothing. You can move forwards again. And maybe motion track. Okay, so it's either on the roof or inside the ship, just beyond these outsiders. So maybe here? That is all I've got. You can move up in full That's cover. I'm going to try saving and reloading again, seeing if, if that's going to fix the bug. Because he's not standing there anymore. I kind of do need that, that cover. It's not exactly like Van Dorn's the, the type to, to move and shoot. Nope. I can't use that. But hopefully if he comes around the right-hand side, Van Dorn should still have a shot. So, everybody in half cover. Hunk down. Actually, second thoughts. Yeah, even you guys in full cover, you've got average or below average rookie aim. Yeah, so maybe not Overwatch. And hopefully Floater's going to reveal himself. Mm, apparently not. Can you go check where he is? There he is. You little shit. Okay, do my snipers have a shot? Only one of them does. Still, that is 298%. Okay, pal, you got a kill. Rene, you didn't, but you're out of range. Well, then screw it. All right, Noodle, you you go for it. 68 or... 73. Go for a 73. Wow, okay. You're not feeling it today then, no? Okay, maybe... I'll oh, screw it. Gerard. Yeah, you, you finish the job. Why, why even bother? Yep. And we're done. It was looking pretty hairy there for a second. But it all worked out in the end. Okay, so these outsiders, really annoyingly, they're in cover. So it's not like my snipers can just, you know, hang back and then shoot them. I know that was only three pods, but I'm going to say that's all of them. We haven't heard anything more than that in all the firefights. And while we're moving around, maybe we will. And if that's the case, I'll just move back and reconsider. Confirm coordinates. Okay, so the plan is to set up an assaulting force around this wall and then a sniping force kind of in full cover in case they dash forwards like, I don't know, here and here, maybe here as well, and see what comes of it. We do still have two flashbangs. I know, very angry outsiders. You're not allowed to move yet. Okay, if you move up, you shouldn't trigger them. I mean, you're going to be concealed, but the path you take shouldn't trigger, should you? No, you don't have any shots in them at all. Okay, Noodle, you can go with him. And also get rid of that pistol. Rookies, you can follow. Location confirmed. Roger, I've got my eyes on. Okay, Lowry, you should be fine here. Heading out. So you keep going. Now, of course, I could move into a position concealed and shoot them, but that is going to leave me so ridiculously exposed. Second thoughts, I could go here and shoot. That's not actually a bad idea. Maybe I'll do that. Noodle, keep going. And rookies, follow. Yeah, let's let's not dash that just in case. Double time it. Okay, you guys are good there. I know you're gonna have line of sight problems, but I'd rather that in full cover than something like here in half cover or whatever half cover there is. And Larry, can you move back a bit? Head in there now. Okay, Van Dorn, you take up position. Closing on target. There we go. Lowry, you stay concealed. On the move. Hi guys, how you doing? Oof, 83, that's not great. And Noodle plus rookies, what do you guys do? Move up a little bit maybe? Aye aye, Commander. Worst case scenario, you can just dash back into concealment. Snipers, do you have shots? On one of them. And you don't have a shot at all. Okay, well that's fine. You steady weapon. 
and you as well, and you, and everybody else Overwatch. Okay, Larry, can you one-shot this outsider? 96% chance to crit. Assuming you hit. Adjusting aim. Why do I make those assumptions? Well, snipers, can you take care of that outsider for me? Okay, you have shots on both of them. You don't have shot on either of them. How very awkward of you. Okay, 82%. See what you can do. Not great. So this outsider is probably dead if I focus that shotgun and those two assault rifles on him. The question is, can you please kill this outsider? Not likely, is it? You hit, at least, which is good. Van Dorn, what can you do? 64%. So, Noodle, I need your shotgun. In position. Wow, outstanding. Okay, we're done here then. Come on then, Renee, you didn't get your kill. On the move. Point blank him. There we go. Excellent work. All objectives complete. That is not acceptable that we lost Bloodwing. How can you dare say that, Bradford? But yeah, it looks like it was three pods. I know fours overdoing it. I, I like to be a bit more careful with the medium crash. As you can see, things can turn badly very, very quickly. So, promotions time. Yeah, of these three being uh, reduce injury recovery time, plus to name, plus to name crit when he gets injured, or plus to name when he misses a shot. I hate hyperactive pupils, I really do. Adrenaline Surge, I've mentioned, is great for very, very long missions. When they're not long missions, it is very often useless. I would actually prefer Field Surgeon, because more often than not, even light damage, it comes into play. So I think I'm gonna give you Field Surgeon. Van Dorn, as injured as you are, that is not great. Yeah, for example, that field surgeon would have really helped out here. Adrenaline surgeon, nope, he's not a shooty class. Hyperactive pupils, again, exactly what Noodle had. Yeah, it's Psy Panic. You're going the way of the Psy. Sure, you weren't in range to use your mind fray on that mission. You might have been if that tree hadn't bugged out. And Vincent, the sniper, or should I say the rocketeer sniper, the sniping rocketeer, the, the long range sniping rocketeer javelin rocket sniper. So yeah, javelin rockets, Fire Rocket, I realise you also get Close Combat Specialist. Yeah, Vincent, as crazy as this is going to be, yeah, you're going to be a Rocket Sniper. That is not something you see every day. So you guys both got kill each. I know the kill's insignificant because you level up regardless. Who was going to be what? I guess I'll sort that out in the barracks because I can't see which one had disabling shot. So yeah, we killed everything. We didn't use explosives to finish off anyone. And, oh wow, really? Everything was damaged on that ship? Nice. Let's go sell it. 240, not bad for a single mission. Russia wants a satellite, not going to happen. The thermal generator will be done in one day. The beam lasers will be done in five. Satellites will be done in 13, so I'll link in 11. And all in time for the council report. So you guys are waiting for your Petmaster perk. Hewson, or. Oh. I think I'm going to give him shock absorbent armor. I think it will come into play more often as an infantry he typically carries ceramic plating and an aim item. I think maybe I'll go for smoke and mirrors later on. Possibly maybe even get rocketeer and tandem warheads. Something that I've mentioned about the perks that apply to different perks. For example, tandem warheads apply to rockets and grenades. I don't think they apply to more than one at a time. So for example, the shredder ammo applying to a machine gun and a rocket, although it can apply to one or the other, it never applies to both. The priority I think goes the rocket launcher. So yeah, I think it's going to be shock absorbent armor because I don't think I'm ever going to make use of those grenades. By the time I get down to here, when I give him a rocket launcher and tandem warheads, I think I'll probably give him smoke and mirrors because he might have more health and I might have more armor and yeah. Shock absorbent armor is... Okay, you guys, which one had disabling shot? You had disabling shot. So you are going to be a scout. Scout disabling shot. You won't be making use of disabling shot just yet, although then again, there's not much point until cyber discs show up. But hopefully by then your accuracy will be a fair bit better. Oh, what is this? Shock and awe. Do you even get a rocket launcher? 
No, you don't. Combined arms, luckily that's one of the few officer perks that actually work without being an officer. So shall you fight? Nope. So it's probably going to be combined arms. That will help reduce the loss of damage from shotguns against armor or even into cover. Oh, this is awkward as well. Uh, dead eye, muscle fiber density and double tap. Double tap is good, unless it's the type of class that needs to move a lot, like an assaulting class being a scout or assault. So probably muscle fiber density, keep you moving all over the place. Then probably not mind merge. Being an assaulting class, mind merge is best used for kind of frontline class. Classes ahead of the front line aren't likely to be mind merging people behind them. So either shock absorbent armor or aggression, not entirely sure which one. Then I think shredder ammo. That is gonna go quite well with disabling mechs. Whenever they disable a mech, they're also gonna shred them as well. So that'd be great as we applied both at the same time. And then close encounters or squad sight. What the hell? Close encounters would be great with shotguns, but seeing as you've got disabling shot, and to use disabling shot, you need a marksman rifle, close encounters isn't great for you. Whereas squad sight with a marksman rifle will only give extended range, not squad sight range. So I'll have to think about that. Then we've got damn good ground, savior, and depth perception. This is Depth perception is just a crap version of damn good ground. <laughs> damn good ground isn't even that great to begin with. And savior, I would gladly take savior if it didn't bug out like last time. I need to look into this because it clearly says grants two medkit charges not attached to any item. Where were my medkit charges on Gerard? Yeah, I need to double check how that works. So yeah, combined arms, jumpy legs. I'm double thinking shock absorbent armor seeing as he's not gonna be close. And with squad sight, hmm. I could have him be a scout with a sawn off shotgun so anybody that gets within his range he can take a free shot with the sawn off shotgun and then shoot with his marksman rifle so maybe still go for shock absorbent armor and carry a sawn off shotgun then shredder ammo and i really want to go for close encounters i can't pass up double shot perks and then preferably savior even though it's not working properly i need to sort that out actually he's ready to yeah he maxed out from that mission because he saw the outsiders he got extra xp for seeing the outsiders spawn so in one day's time well in six days time I suppose after his fatigue has worn off in one day time after that he will level up again okay pow you're ready for anything is kind of awkward you're too low accuracy to be a shooty class it doesn't even work with light him up there's no point in you being an engineer if you're going to take advantage of ready for anything we've got enough gunners as it is and obviously it doesn't trigger after suppressing too low accuracy to be a rocketeer We've got enough scouts, and being a scout would have the same problem as being an assault, and obviously not be a sniper. I was thinking maybe you could be an engineer, and on the rare occasions you shoot without moving with an engineer, you'd overwatch. But I think I will have you be an assault. It's not going to be often that you shoot without moving, but when you do, going to overwatch could be handy for those occasions when you're fighting close quarters. So, pal, you are being a bit awkward, aren't you? I really don't want you to be a rocketeer. Carrying a rocket launcher actually reduces your mobility, which makes you a less effective assault. But yet, you get Tandem Warheads and Danger Zone as your last perk. Danger Zone is pointless unless you're a mech, a rocketeer, or a gunner. Tandem Warheads is pointless if you're not carrying grenades. And Hyperactive Pupils is just pretty crap, as I've mentioned before. But Psycho Kinetic Strike is just so much better than Fire Rocket. With an assault typically having below average accuracy, why would I risk carrying a rocket launcher and making a less effective assault? when you can just have Psycho Connected Strike and just pinpoint accuracy blow up cover. I'll have to think about that. Then there's Lightning Reflexes. Yeah, pretty much going to be Lightning Reflexes. Exactly as I said with Rene, I'm not going to have an Assaulting class who's ahead of the front lines and mind merging backwards into the front lines. That seems kind of pointless. So probably going to be Lightning Reflexes and save myself the trouble of bringing in a Scout. Precision Shot won't be applying to him. He doesn't have a Marksman Rifle or a Sniper Rifle. Ranger isn't brilliant, but he does get multi-shot perks with the Close Encounters. Or it's up against Petmaster, so either that or Petmaster. Heat Warheads won't apply because he's not going to be a Rocketeer. And it's up against Close Encounters, so hell no. It's going to be Close Encounters, always with a shotgun. Shredder Ammo doesn't apply to him because he doesn't have a Rocket. Covering Fire is also a no, even though he has Ready for Anything. Probably going to be the Free Med Kit, because at least this one does work. And then the last tier being Danger Zone or tandem warheads, they're going to be pointless for him. It'd be great for a rocketeer, but I really don't want this guy to be a rocketeer. Not when fire rocket is up against psychokinetic strike. I'd consider it if it wasn't, but it is, so I'm just not going to bother. I do realize, guys, there's fire rocket, heat warheads, and shredder ammo, but that means I'm going to lose close encounters. So as rubbish as it is, probably going to go for hyperactive pupils. So probably Psychokinetic Strike, Lightning Reflexes, either Ranger or Petmaster, Close Encounters, Field Medic, and Hyperreactive Pupils. And finally, Van Dorn. 
as injured as you are, you do now qualify for an officer. Plus one will for everyone, or reduce mission fatigue. Yeah, plus one will. Thank you, sir. And I think that pretty much covers everything. I'm going to save up a little bit of money for when the beam lasers are done, so... Online. Generator's done. Now we should have a hell of a lot more power and that should keep us going for a little while. Beam lasers, please, Valen. Commander, the council is requesting your attention. One day off, really? Coming in now. Oh, okay. Okay, game. Look, I know last time you gave me Van Dorn and Friendly. I know. I know you did. Please, please give me Carlock. That would be nice. It's the only other council mission where you get a soldier. Please let it be Carlock. Or it can be this mission. So the council has been monitoring unusual reports about a hijack attempt by a bunch of scumbags on an unauthorized French military convoy. Although the alleged perpetrators were treacherous humans, our intel indicates the aliens may have also been in the area. If true, this raises a number of questions about the cargo being moved. We'll need a squad to investigate. Central should have our complete report momentarily. So we're going to go save that scumbag exalt from the aliens and spend the next year and a half interrogating him because Valen is apparently really slow at interrogating humans because of, you know, law something. Either that or she finds interrogating aliens just much more fun. But that is going to be our next mission. Can we wait for anyone? Nope. Also, were there any new promotions? Owens went for his pet master, and yeah. Johnson and Reynolds both went for their pet master as well. Oh, damn, we don't have any snipers ready. That's really unfortunate. Oh, my mistake. Snyder is actually ready. Okay, Snyder, you say you're ready in seven hours. Are you actually, actually going to be ready? Because I'm, I'm willing to push this. Are you going to be ready in seven hours? Okay. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, second thoughts, no, he's not going to be ready. As can be seen, we have one hour left. I'm not going to actually select the, the globe anymore because time ticks over while you're just looking at it. And Snyder is one hour off. Snyder, you said you'd be ready in seven hours. Damn it. I could just stare at the globe, like click on it and stare on it and wait for a few seconds and hope that he will come off fatigue, but that is too much of a risk. I think I'm just going to have to fatigue someone. Probably Vincent, he's on four days, whereas Gerard is on two. But that'll be next mission. Guys, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you next video. Bye bye. Now, either this is going to be a slaughter, or this is where the tide turns. This is going to be a slaughter. Oh, we're all going to die. We are definitely going to die. Oh, that was a bad idea, grouping like that. It's like I haven't played XCOM before. Oh, shit. Okay, steady weapon, good idea. Live, zombie! Let's find out. Ow, really? Oh, that's unfortunate. Warning, reactor no. collapse imminent. Oh, Proceed to the emergency device. Oh, I went the wrong way. I went the wrong way. Run, man, run. Oh, we're in the wrong way. We're in the wrong way. Oh, crap. Is that door still going to be closed? Because I think it is. Oh, thank God it's not. Get the f*** out of here. Okay, Woo! Man. So let's get the 